Hello guys, Shadow Ghost here, and today I'll be talking to you guys about the new movie coming out soon, Suicide Squad. So in the Suicide Squad, uh, okay, the Suicide Squad is basically a highly trained group of villains that are assigned missions by Amanda Waller. Like, okay, so um, they're not doing it with their will. Basically, Amanda Waller has implanted um, bombs right in the back of their necks. That kind of force that kind of forces each and one of them to do what she wants any kind of mission she wants dangerous or not mostly dangerous um they actually have to do it or bang okay so i'm gonna be talking to you guys about the new movie coming out soon in 2016 in on the 5th of august i think in the usa i'm not sure about england though but i'm gonna tell you guys um all the actors playing who so um mark Margaret Robbie is playing Harley Quinn. I'm not sure. I haven't really seen him, her in too many films. Actually, I haven't even seen her in any film, so I'm not sure. But she looks the role, and I'm not sure in acting wise how she'll actually be. Tom Hardy, I believe that that's the guy who played Bane. So knowing who he is and not kind of character he can play, um, only if you can actually understand him this time. Um, I think he would make a uh, really good bit like Jay Courtney, the guy from Divergent. I think. Wait, is that the guy from Divergent? I'm, wait, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna check this really quickly because I know there's the guy. I know there's one guy from Divergent in this. I'm not sure if it's Jay Courtney. If that's his name, so I'm gonna check it. Yeah, Jay Courtney. Jay Courtney, the guy from um from Hunger Games. I mean from Divergent. Um, looking at his um, Divergent character, it's completely different from, um, from other Captain Boomerangs I've seen on television and other things like that. But if you look at, um, if you've seen the Flash and Arrow crossover, um, I, see, I saw that like last week or something like that. I can't remember when it came out, but I think it was last week. Basically, they changed the tone of Captain Boomerang and they changed him into a more deep and darker character so looking at his past character Divergent I think he can take what he's learned from that kind of role into the new one okay so now for the Joker so um this reoccurring role so I think the Joker was last on TV eight years ago with um Heath Ledger rest in peace um so I'm not I'm kind of 50-50 um, about what Jared Leto um, is going to bring to the Joker character. I w he had a physique for him. And I hope that uh, his origin story. Uh, like I don't, Basically what I want is. Um, I don't really want him. Like with the Heath Ledger one. He was wearing. Um, what's he wearing? Powder or so something like that on his face. But I think they're going to change it to the chemical one. Like the one that we all know and, and love. The thing is. Um, some people say it might be a bit too quickly to bring a new Joker in, but um, if you think about it, I think the Leto is going to keep in consideration how good his Ledger was. Like, he is a really amazing Joker, but the thing is, the Leto is probably going to look at his past, past performance, talk to people who um, who've seen him in action, and probably learn from him, then improve it. So, whatever he... Um, Whatever Heath Ledger did, he might do something similar or try to find his own twist on the character. Um, researching, reading the comics, New 52, any kind of comics, trying to find what the character is actually really like. Like, the really good performance that Heath Ledger actually did. So, who else? Um, I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure who the Enchantress is, but she's been played by um, Kara, or Kara, one of them, and Devalini, I think her name is. Not sure and then um okay deadshot yeah i don't really have any problems with this he could be played by will smith he's a great actor i just hope that he will pull it off he probably can so i've no really problem with that role and that that's it and from what i see here because i'm currently looking at the cast this is this is on imdb it says that um, for Lex Luthor, but the thing is, Lex Luthor is not going to be in it, so this room I'm probably going to 
it's probably gonna be wrong because I don't believe that Lex Luthor is gonna be in this movie. There's no point of him being in it. Um, only if they find a way to because on IMBD it says that Jesse Eisenberg is meant to be Lex Luthor uh, rumored. I know he could be a Lex Luthor in Batman vs Superman, but I don't think that Lex Luthor really has any kind of role to be in the Suicide Squad. So just don't take any notice of that. But I want to know from you what you what you guys actually um, like or dislike about the casting of the Suicide Squad. If you like it, tell me. If you hate it, tell me. Tell me your suggestions for that character. And I think I'll be doing more movie news like this weekly. People, okay, guys, please tell me what you want because I know I've been gone for a long time. When um. I think I've been gone for like three months. I'm really sorry about that, but I'm trying to get back into it. So, um, tell me what you want. I'll get back into it. But the only thing I will tell you guys, I'm not, I will not be doing um ADC movies online anymore. I don't really play that. I don't play that game at all anymore. But I'll do anything else for you guys, whatever you guys want. So, um, if you guys want to give me any suggestion, give me comment section below, or on my Twitter account. So please subscribe please follow me on twitter and please join the legion of shadow you guys are amazing so bye okay so goodbye please subscribe like comment and do whatever you really want because it's your free will so please comment like and subscribe and i'll see you later and please join the legion of shadow <laughs>